Hey guys, how's it going? Um, sorry about the slightly shaky camera and all that sort of stuff and lack of intro and all those things, but um, I just wanted to show you the uh, new Ryan, Monarch butterfly so we've just hatched. that we've got and uh, this fella is just absolutely gorgeous I'll just flip the uh, camera around so you can get a better look at him so here he is um, now he's a male monarch and you can tell that because if you look at his wings here um, you'll see that there isn't a fuzzy spot down in the um, bottom of his wing section there if they've got a, a large fuzzy spot then they're a female um, that spot is also the scent sensor that they use to smell swan plants that they go to for laying eggs on. There you go, but you didn't know that. As you can see, he's absolutely gorgeous. I can get right close up on him. You can see his proboscis there. And his lovely black and white feathers. And the fuzzy edge on the wing is just because of the feathers and stuff. Sorry, this is a little bit shaky, but um, anyone who knows me knows my hands are shaky at the best of times anyway. And uh, yeah, I just thought, hey, I'll just get a quick video done here. You guys can have a look at him. His wings are just finishing drying out. Um, I did a little trick, which is um, putting the um, rubbing some of the swamp plant leaves on your hand. And if you do that, the butterfly will just more than happily just come and sit on your hand for ages because he thinks you're a swamp plant. Um, his wings are pretty much dried out he's tried flying a couple of times now uh, didn't work so well but he landed all right and now he's um, gonna live for a number of days and find a nice lady butterfly and uh, I'll do those butterfly things and hopefully come back and lay some more eggs on my swan plants so there he goes just over there that was a good flight So as you can see down here, we've got um, a whole heap more cocoons that are some of the uh, more ready than others. And uh, the weather's got a little bit cooler, so they're not quite going to finish off outside here. So I'm going to take them inside and just chop the branches off the thing because it's a noxious weed of a plant anyway. And um, I'll take those inside. That one there is getting very close. And... Uh, have them um, give them a bit more temperature on the back porch as you can see down here aside from a, a bee wandering around we've got lots of bees at the moment which is good um, we've got um, about 10 11 more caterpillars to come as well so of various sizes which has slowed down we had about 50 caterpillars earlier and if I just bring you around here you can see on this plant we've got a whole number of other little cocoons all over the place up there and there's a, a couple more down here there they are just um there there's another 19 of them three more of them are uh, already in my back porch and staying in the warm because they need to be 15 degrees to keep working and uh getting up to the point where they can hatch so Hopefully you'll up all of bred about 30 caterpillars. Now the reason I'm doing this is we need some caterpillars for a film we're going to be making sometime in the next 3 to 18 months. You know what it's like with the whole coronavirus-y thingy stuff. I'm probably going to get this video blocked for saying coronavirus now, but never mind. And um, yeah, it's, it's the butterflies are something that we need to sit on a little girl's hand at the beginning of the film, which is going to be cool. So I thought... I'm going to start learning how to breed butterflies because um, that sounds like something fun to do anyway and we're going to need it for the film. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking for something to do while you're all housebound and uh, locked up, um, go find some swamp plants around the place. Plenty of people have uh, got, you've probably got some around anyway, the milkweed and things like that. Um, and, uh, yeah... As I think you'll agree, they're pretty cool. By the way, you can touch the wings, you're not going to damage them or cause them not to fly, but um, if you've got kids around, just remind them that they are a living thing and not a toy. Um, they're incredibly friendly. They're not going to hurt anybody. They'll crawl over your hand and you can investigate and inspect them and 
have a really good look, but yeah, treat them with respect like any living creature. Here's one of our um, larger caterpillars at the moment. And uh, another one just over here. Um, any time now these ones here will all crawl up onto a branch and they'll um, sort of come along and they'll build this little joiner at the top here and they'll hang from that and they'll curl up into a J shape and then when they do that in about an hour or two they'll have built a cocoon around them pretty cool oh here you go here's two more of the other ones down here they're um, got a little while to go there some of the later ones we've got along with this one over here that appeared about the same time and of course the the weirdest one that we've got is um just over here he um he crawled from the plants over there all the way across there up the side of the garden up along this fiberglass pole and uh, built himself the little cocoon right over here on the gla fiberglass pole that's all the way from the swan plants over there you got to admit that's kind of a dedication of a sorts and a little bit crazy as well right well that's uh, all from me and my swan plants for right now i'm going to go and uh, find some other stuff to do and get some dinner ready and um, move these fellas inside and uh, i'll see you later and you can click down under the butterfly to subscribe and um, off to the side of the butterfly of course to uh, watch one of the other videos I've got because uh, YouTube said you'd like those ones and they're pretty awesome at picking those things out. <laughs>